Okay, thank you, Steve. I would like to uh, thank everyone on the panel, Mr. Uh, uh, Jerome, uh, Professor Ismail, also uh, uh, Captain Maktoum, and uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Aparna, and hopefully we can uh, finish within the 10 minutes. Um, of course, just to talk for the first minute with regards to the health, health and safety in ports and uh, the pandemic, as well as the blast that we have seen in Beirut, has overwhelmed us with a lot of uh, rules and regulations, uh, as well as uh, auditing that we had to do. Uh, we actually started early in that, even before the pandemic to implement many rules and regulations, including the ISPS code, which is the uh, international safety uh, for, uh, 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 for uh, you know, security of the ports code, which is uh, part of the uh, uh, rules and the regulations that have been implemented by the uh, International Maritime Organization, the IMO. And uh, we, uh, as the state of Kuwait and the commercial ports, have an annual audit done by the IMO, but the auditors themselves are from the US Coast Guard. So that gives a lot of uh, credibility and uh, a lot of uh, uh, support for all the countries. What we've done here in Kuwait is that we've signed with uh, one of the qualified companies in the maritime industry, uh, Bureau Veritas, uh, and uh, uh, they are now reviewing our ISPS code uh, regulations. And therefore, uh, we as the Kuwait Port Authority are doing this. We are also doing uh, a complete revamp of our uh, internal uh, 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 structure with regards to implementing uh, regulations for the uh, uh, dangerous goods, the IMDG code, uh, IMCO, and so forth, as well as uh, the uh, traffic inside the ports, as well as the uh, uh, HSE, all putting them under one uh, rules and regulation uh, uh, platform. Um, as well as what we have seen with regards to the protocols implemented by us in the Kuwait Ports Authority during the period of the pandemic. I have a presentation that I would like to present for the audience, uh, if, if uh, someone can help us with that. These are the procedures that we have implemented to protect against the COVID-19. I will talk about that and then I will talk to about the other procedures that we are going, we are implementing with regards to the other uh, uh, HSC uh, initiatives that we have done. Next. Of course, we uh, released circulars to the three ports on uh, uh, preventive measures. We've done that in uh, January, way before the spread of the pandemic and it was based on the circular given to us by the Ministry of Health saying that there is a uh, uh, disease spreading. Uh, at that time, it wasn't even an epidemic and it wasn't even a pandemic. So we took our early measures and we purchased all the necessary, uh, uh, you know, masks and gloves and etc. Next. Um, we then also did a circular to all the uh, uh, Maritime op Operation Department, ensuring that the uh, incoming commercial uh, vessels and ships uh, should uh, apply uh, through their agent uh, all the necessary documents to prove that they are free from this infectious disease. And as you can see from the letters on the 29th of January, there was no international protocol. We don't know how to deal with this disease. And probably it wasn't even called COVID-19 back then. Next. We then also, uh, uh, once 
we heard that this epidemic at that, at that time probably didn't reach the pandemic stage uh, uh, graded by the international, uh, uh, by the World Health Organization. We actually uh, stopped uh, all the incoming vessels, especially the small ones coming uh, from Iran, where it, uh, 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 we heard news that it's been spreading very fast there. So we had to completely stop the vessels coming uh, from Iran. Next. At the same time, we also took further measures uh, by sending a circular to the Association of uh, uh, Shipping Agents in Kuwait in order to cease receiving cargo, cargo vessels, passengers, etc., arriving from the Islamic Republic of Iran. So uh, it, it was done uh, immediately uh, uh, after that uh, in order to prevent any incoming uh, goods because at that time we did not know if that uh, virus can be transferred through only people or will it be transferred through goods no one knew and we were just hearing stories and news articles so we had to prevent everything uh, because we did not know what was the source of uh, uh, the transfer of, of uh, you know contaminated goods or people uh, uh, carrying that virus and how the, the whole world did not know how this disease was transferred one from uh, uh, you know one item to another or one person to another etc next also on the same day uh, we ceased to receive also from the republic of iraq as you know iraq and iran are neighboring countries it's also spread into iraq so we also had to stop uh, incoming ships and dows uh, uh, coming into uh, uh, the ports. Next. We also sent uh, letters uh, to uh, the uh, customs department, informing them of the same to Iraq. We had to uh, cir circulate uh, our administrative orders uh, that we have done and those have been done early. If you're looking at the dates on January and February, we did not have any guidance. There was no uh, regulations coming from anyone. We just had to uh, take action individually. Next. Next, please. Next. Okay, we also have done the same to the Ministry of Interior uh, as part of uh, circulating our letters, especially to the Coast Guard, because the Coast Guard protect our territorial waters uh, uh, and also um, monitor the international ships incoming to the state of Kuwait. Next. At the same time, those circulars have also been distributed to the uh, uh, other authorities, including the uh, uh, Public Authority for Agriculture and Fisheries. Next, please. You know, and to inform them of, of our decision in uh, 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 the halt of receiving those types of cargo coming from both the Republic of Iran and the uh, Islamic Republic of Iran and the Republic of Iraq. Next. And as well to what we have done, we've done the same to the Minister of Communication to stop receiving cargo vessels from Korea, Italy, Thailand, Singapore, you know, all those countries where we have heard that the pandemic uh, or the epidemic at that time, probably it wasn't a pandemic, uh, and spreading, so we had to stop uh, incoming uh, cargo vessels. Next. And then we also made uh, 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 a uh, uh, administrative order 
uh, in order to provide all the precautions against the COVID-19. Now it's called the COVID-19. We all know what the name is. Uh, we have also received circulars from the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Health in Kuwait, including everywhere in the world, were receiving precautions from the WHO. And now we started to have a certain protocol coming. We also uh, received a joint uh, letter from both the WHO and the IMO. Next, please. And then, uh, we also did certain circulars with regards to the uh, cooperation with the civil aviation as well. Next. And circulars uh, in order to continue uh, doing work and dividing that work in order for the teams not to have uh, uh, that disease between them. And even if this infection or virus, I'm sorry, spreads between a certain uh, group within the port, then the work uh, flow continues, the maritime operation continues, the stevedoring operation continues without any stopping. Next, please. Uh, also, uh, 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 using the different types of programs in order for whoever is staying at home to work remotely out of their house using the different types of uh, 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 software available. Next. See, if you can notice uh, uh, the, you know, uh, the many circulars being done uh, day by day especially during the uh, uh, pandemic and the early stages of the pandemic, uh, you know, in consideration of the circulars coming to us from the Ministry of Health in cooperation with the World Health Organization. And now we started also uh, uh, accepting the ships that we banned in the beginning, especially if coming from China and uh, Japan and elsewhere. But at the same time, we wanted to track the vessels. Next. Um, you know, now we've been tracking the, 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 the last 10 days of each vessel in order for us to understand where the vessel have went and should have they passed through an uh, infected country uh, uh, with this COVID or not. <laughs> Next, please. Yes. Um, what we have done, if you can see, there are staff from the Ministry of Health that uh, we actually proactively requested to go on the ships to check. Uh, 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 temperature of those people and to randomly also uh, take PCR tests, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, for the people who uh, accept it's not done, uh, uh, it's not compulsory, uh, uh, you know, whoever wants to do it at the beginning can do it, but it was compulsory taking the temperature of, of them, uh, uh, of the uh, crew on the ship incoming into Kuwait or we will to come to Kuwait. Next. So we see the, uh, uh, the crew from the Ministry of Health takes the temperature of the ship crew and uh, we, we actually first to do it in Kuwait. If, uh, Please, if you can mute everyone else except myself, because there are there is a uh, background noise coming from somewhere else. Please, next. So these are also the staff in full gear and uh, wearing all the masks, taking into consideration all the circulars that we have made, including the incoming ships, and also filling out the uh, 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 table requested saying that there is no one on the ship, everyone has been checked, 
and and the 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 ship screw is is covid free next next please we also uh, purchased uh, sanitization trucks we've seen them in the media uh, uh, in china and they're very effective for the containers uh, uh, and for the ports we're also now as part of uh, you know our role uh, uh, is taking taking them to other locations uh, in Kuwait and and they're they're very very uh, effective uh, uh, as well using environmentally uh, friendly uh, additives in order to uh, make sure that all the incoming uh, containers and goods uh, are uh, decontaminated next please we also purchased this helmet and it is very effective uh, from a distance that can uh, identify the uh, temperature of different individuals. And uh, we gave them to the security uh, department here in the port and it's been very effective. It's been used every day and uh, uh, it prevents the uh, coming close uh, in distance and being infected, uh, you know, God forbid. So uh, this technology has been very good. This helmet has been very effective and it's still in use uh, uh, within the Port Authority uh, uh, parameters. Next, please. We also purchased two of those UVA sanitation robots. It's used within the rooms. Um, uh, and it's been very effective. We purchased those robots and they, after work, go around and decontaminate uh, all the viruses, including the COVID-19. Uh, thank God uh, we had no uh, in-house uh, contamination of COVID uh, uh, due to the measures we have taken but we had few cases uh, affecting some of our employees that have been affected from friends and, and family members outside. Next, please. Uh, this is the end of my uh, presentation. If we can go back to uh, the normal session, please. Yeah, this is the end of my presentation. In addition to the COVID-19, uh, as I said, we also are taking extra measures as well uh, with regards to the safety of the trucks. We are requesting now all the truck drivers incoming into the ports to have international certifications uh, uh, for their ability to drive trucks uh, and uh, port equipment. At the same time, we're requesting them to put uh, uh, a vehicle tracking system. We're also requesting them to put uh, equipment in order to make sure that the drivers are aware. And once his eyes close for a couple of seconds, then it will give an alarm to make sure that uh, uh, he does not sleep. And you know, when a truck hits, it's a big disaster. We're checking on the safety of the trucks as well. Uh, all those things are being impl implemented as we speak. We're moving from uh, paper to paperless. Now, even the um, uh, seamen uh, all have uh, iPads. Everything is connected. Every ship, uh, uh, all the goods we have linked digitally to the uh, between the uh, Kuwait ports as well as the customs. So it's been a very big move, uh, digitalizing. We're also continuing doing that. And uh, uh, at the end, uh, using the virtual world as we are in this webinar has been a great uh, you know, add-on to our efforts uh, in the health and safety uh, for the ports, uh, either for the during the pandemic for the dangerous goods and in the everyday operation uh, of our ports. And thank you.